I didn't want to touch this video yesterday because what we had were excerpts, like 59 seconds. I wanted to see the full clip. And off the bat, this man begin his fire. Let's say climate change, you say for clean the guts at him. But let, let, let me start the video again all over, guys. Let's start. Let's start. African nations at the COP26 summit have a demand for the rich nations there. Step up and pay up. A group of African negotiators once helped to curb emissions and adapt to the changing climate. Their message, Africa contributes the least to climate change, but is affected the most. In today's exchange, you'll hear more about those demands. I spoke early with one of, Africa, one of the African leaders at the COP26 summit, the president of Sierra Leone, Julius Mada Vio. I asked him about the effect climate change is having on his country's agriculture and the poverty level. What we have done is, um, as a country that is prone to uh, 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 the, the effects of, uh, 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 of climate change, we have also set up um, what we have as what, what we call as a disaster management agency. And this uh, comes into operation or does a lot of work around prevention. And uh, with, the, with, 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 with the help of this agency, We've been able to do quite a lot in terms of clearing the gutters and all the channels to make sure that before the rains set in, um, 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 we, we don't have any blockages that will lead to flooding in Freetown in particular. And where we've had instances of um, disasters, the, we, we, this body has gone in to provide some support. And uh, it's on the radio and using other media to inform people about what we can actually do as a nation to prevent uh, disasters. So they are all around the country, a special purpose agency just uh, for, to prevent disasters and to help where disaster st strikes. You know, to be honest with you guys, Kashi, people's power, I don't, let's, let's, let's break it down right here. Really? Yeah, 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 right there. Climate change? That's what this man is talking about? It's not talking about what he's going to do to, uh, to, to stop the deforestation that is currently going on in the country? When that is the number one cause of the problems that we have when it comes to climate change? It's talking about sanitation? Just general cleaning issues? For clean gutter? Sanitational issues? No more for make sure say, at least now clean we gutter them and clean with it. That is what this man defines as climate change. This man get PhD. <laughs> no, Kashi, I, I cannot imagine. I go take I go take a seven year old picking and, and, and talk about climate change. They will not tell me about cleaning the gutters. They will tell me about combustion engine. Try for see how we go use electric vehicles instead of using you know monitoring the kinds of vehicles that when they ply the streets and stuff like that for reduce the, the human you know I footprint know, when Ibrahim, they talk about Ibrahim Ibrahim. Ibrahim, Ibrahim, <laughs> Ibrahim. People saw, come Ibrahim. on in. Ibrahim. <laughs> I don't even want you to the lady say. People saw, yeah, go ahead. They talk about climate change. I don't know whether the, the president, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know whether the, the, the president, they talk about and the flooding and all. Because if you they talk about cleaning the gutters, until maybe you they think of flooding or whatever you want to let the gutter they be clean, let the place not flood and all. But but I don't understand if the if the president knows exactly they go on climate or whatever summit you they go on. <laughs> I don't know what a, whatever conference because if the president they talk about cleaning the guts are cash box, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what this man is talking about. <laughs> but you know, know, when they talk about climate change, this man don't go sell black Johnson. You know, <laughs> this man they they they, they do timber logging every other day. He they, he they go ahead and and and. And deforestate the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other plant trees, yeah. no nothing. Every day, he and Babadi, the leadway company, then they deforestate this country. Well, in the first place, Ibrahim come with Quetta and Catbook. Uh -huh. What's your president, Biogo Duyanda? I swear to God, when you don't even have a clue of what you're doing, you don't Ibrahim, even know why you're there. Ibrahim, you know, um, <laughs> this guy, you know, at times, we don't even laugh at people, um, the horrible life they wouldn't live in that salon. But this guy, he never ceases to amaze me. Seriously. You know, look, look. 
it's just like when you talk about if you get a seven year old, for instance, if you go and call, I don't want to mention your son's name. It, it's okay. If you go and call, like Gabe. Gabriel, Gabriel, right now, right. Gabriel will tell you about like, look, look, Ibrahim. One of the key, re one of the the main reason why I decide for change my car because I had a diesel car. Now because. Me picking Como school one day, they taught them um, about climate change and everything. And then the first thing, like after picking her up, the first thing she asked me, oh, daddy, it's your car. So diesel car or petrol car. And I was like, diesel. And she shook her head and say, daddy, you should be embarrassed. Why are you doing that? Why are you driving a diesel car? Since that day, and I'm not kidding. I can call her right now because Absolutely. she's she's on holiday right now. She's not right. going to Ben Ali. She said to me, Daddy, it's not good for the environment. Wow. You know, first of all, what this guy is telling us, and up to like, because they talk, I mean, they teach them at school. They, they yeah. tell them about the right. impact of using like a diesel car and stuff like that. Right. And it came, it came to me straight away and attacked me. And since that day, she kind of like on my case, oh, daddy, we need to get electric car. We need to get electric car. Ibrahim, the reason why I say that, that because you mentioned, say, oh, even your seven-year-old Peking cannot give answer. And look at the, look at the disgraceful thing. The president say, he said for clean gutter, first of all, you saying that for clean gutter, it tells, it exposes we country, say we country dirty, we don't gutter and okay clean. Right. In the first place. For tell we say, you know, they come to the high behind. Like, how are you going to tell you about climate change? You say, oh, will they take, look the one where you use preventative methods and the preventative methods now for, now for clean water. Right. No, sir. That is a curative way of like managing the climate change. Look, the preventative way for uh, manage climate change, Mr. Mr. President, reduce your flight when you use every year. You know, Kashi, let the video it's long. You know, the video long. Now continue. But for a president that travels like this to attend an institution like this, the, a, a conference like this, and does not even know why he's going to this, this this particular conference, it is a shame, it is a disgrace, and this shows exactly what we've been saying. So let me let me continue now. I really want to hear what the lady has to say as a comeback. Just uh, for, to prevent disasters and to help where disaster st strikes. As some of the wealthiest countries, as some of the biggest emitters, uh, and they are. I'm sure this lady is dumbfounded, Cashbox. Yeah. To say, yeah. really, is this president talking about cleaning gutters? When we talk about climate change, we're talking about combustion engines. We're talking about you know um, deforestation, uh, you know saving the, the rainforest and all of that stuff. He's talking about cleaning gutters. I don't know why she did not go back and just say, "Really, Mr. President?" No, no but, but the annoying thing, Ibrahim, there is is the fact that him telling us that that is a preventative way cleaning gutter. Exactly. Is a preventative way. How about planting trees? How no, about taking works, I would not even agree. With, say it's preventative. <laughs> Let us. That's, that should not even come up. The cleaning gutter is sanitational issues. It's just Absolutely. general sanitational Absolutely. issues. Absolutely. So you cleaning gutter is a preventative measure. How about like you the money they were with the thief? Kind of like reduce the 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 the, the trees they mown at the court. We make you thief two hundred and fifty million from the people and counting and, and counting. It's counting. a gutter. Cash works. Let's continue. Business.